Oh, so you're awake. Well, that's horrible. Uh, hi, I guess. Yeah, sure. You can start asking questions. Who am I? I can't tell you that. Uh, that's a secret. Next question. Where are you and what's happening? Well, uh, you are in the middle of nowhere. In some secret storage house or a warehouse, you could say. Uh, I guess you figured that uh, you, you've been kidnapped. Yeah? Uh, what do you mean why I'm doing that? What, like this? This stuff? Don't mind that, I'm just uh, somewhat of a nervous guy. I uh, do that a lot, I don't know. It's like a nervous tick, okay? Stop asking me that question, that's so weird. Yes, those are uh, Hello Kitty uh, handcuffs. What do you mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, they work surprisingly well, even though they look cute as hell, right? dog. Aren't you scared? You should be more scared. And what the hell is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Look, I don't like the fact that you're not scared at all. Uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and a little bit about uh, the plan. You know, what's about to happen to you or with you. Uh, first of all, this thing here. See this? That's a real uh, knife wound, okay? Because I'm a real uh, badass criminal, you know? We do dangerous things and uh, sometimes uh, we get cut uh, when we shave. Uh, I mean, uh, we get uh, seriously hurt in actual physical combat. Look, I'm just here to entertain you while they come. The plan is to uh, exchange you for 25 kilograms of toilet paper. That's about, uh, I think, 55 or 60 pounds. I'm not American, I'm a European uh, criminal, okay? So uh, that's like uh, the approximate number, uh, 25 kilograms and 60. LBS, uh, why do we need so much toilet paper? <laughs> I guess uh, you haven't been paying attention. This is a real crisis, what's happening in the world right now. And uh, the one thing that everybody needs is toilet paper. Okay. See this thing here? This is the last roll of toilet paper. Can you hear the sound of it? We need more of it. I don't know why, but uh, the boss has this uh, crazy idea that uh, he wants to build a fort. A toilet paper fort. Uh, nobody understands that guy, by the way. I don't even get him. I mean, uh, I thought we were dealing with a virus. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess he just likes to uh, kidnap people and exchange them for a uh, toilet paper. Weird guy for sure. I'm only doing this because of the money, so, um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have this strange hobby, okay? I kind of like you, so uh, I'm going to tell you stuff about myself. I uh, don't really have many friends here, so uh, I just get to talk to, uh, you know, our uh, victims. Uh, and uh, I have this hobby, right? Uh, I do ASMR on YouTube. Uh, you can look it up. The channel's called Ice Blue ASMR. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you some uh, triggers, 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 triggers. Talk about toilet paper. Don't tell the boss. 
boss that I'm doing this, uh, you know, I don't even know what's his problem with toilet paper, but uh, I'm using this for ASMR, okay? Maybe that's the reason why we're out of toilet paper. No, but for real though, uh, that's not the reason. I just, uh, I'm gonna use this once I'm done, okay? So... What's your occupation? Like, what's your name and stuff? Uh, yeah, you can tell me. Look, I won't tell anybody. Uh, but you should definitely be scared, because this is a real... Uh, Knife wound, as I told you before. No, it's not a shaving cut, it's a real knife wound. We're dangerous criminals here, okay? I'm from the cold northern Russia, okay? I was born and raised in Siberia, and uh, you know, just been going from a boss to boss, pretty secretive guy, right? The name's Dimitri, by the way. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> that's not my real name. You thought I'd tell you my real name? I screw it. I told him my real name. Uh, no, 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 nothing, nothing. Uh, uh, yeah, Dimitri is my uh, fake name, okay? Uh, okay, I didn't know that. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Oh, you do that. Well, this sounds like an interesting profession. Uh, do you have any hobbies or anything? Are you out of toilet paper as well? Oh, no, you aren't. How much toilet paper do you have in your house? We could, uh, we could kind of uh, rearrange the situation. You know, I don't really dislike you. I'm kind of a nice person. Uh, or maybe everyone who is a handcuff it is a nice person. <laughs> I, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, but I'm supposed to be a. I'm supposed to act uh, mean and uh, arrogant and tell you the scary stuff. Okay, so uh, look, I don't know what's scarier than a baby shark. Okay, you're sleeping next to this guy here. Actually, you weren't sleeping, you were unconscious, but okay, uh, you were kind of sleeping for an hour, I think, but uh, this guy's the most dangerous creature ever. Uh, he almost uh, ate you all alive when you were sleeping, right? You weren't scared, uh, you're a pretty fearless person, I guess. Uh, gonna put him away now. This is also a really scary trigger, okay? This is a brush, it's pink. Okay, I also have a, a black one, but uh, this pink one is more intimidating and scarier. Nothing is as scary as a pink makeup brush. Sure, you can tell me an interesting story from childhood. For sure, I love hearing those. No, it's not recording. Why do you think it's recording? I I'm not. Uh... Oh, screw it, I already told you that I'm an ASM artist on YouTube. Uh... Mm -hmm. Look, just keep talking and pretend like the camera isn't on. Those are not my dogs. I'm not going to tell you anything about the dogs. Look, I'm not dumb. I don't want you to escape. Unless, you know, we can bargain about that uh, toilet paper, you know, you're gonna make me a good deal. Because, uh, like, if you don't have 25 kilos, uh, that's 60 pounds or something of toilet paper, then you're going to stay here and uh, we're gonna get things uh, our way, okay? Mm -hmm. Who's the boss? Oh god, that guy's so weird. I'm not supposed to tell you anything, but uh, he's a horse from Saturn. Okay, are you surprised? Yeah. 
yeah, I know, yeah. Uh, usually there are like Saturnians, but uh, he's a he's a horse. He's a weirdo. He has this weird idea. He wants to barricade himself in the living room with toilet paper uh, to be safe from this very dangerous virus epidemic. Uh, yeah. What do you think of the virus? Are you prepared? How much toilet paper do you have in your house? That's uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, these are some cotton pads here. Uh, I don't know if you realize, but all bad guys, they have uh, like a sensitive side to them, because uh, uh, we're like tough, right? Because uh, we had to be tough, uh, the world is tough. Uh, the world was tough to us, and now we're, I guess, bad guys. So. Did that make sense? Okay. I'm actually a pretty sensitive guy, you know that. I cry a lot. Okay. So, uh, I don't know, when I think of cotton pads, I, uh, you get, like, really sad sometimes, so...
always liked uh, just silence. Uh, the angry dogs have stopped making loud, obnoxious noises. And, uh, even I stopped talking and you stopped uh, talking and just... some more triggers like this one mm -hmm. those are water sounds it's a plastic bottle filled with water no it's not hydrogen peroxide just had a conversation with the boss and you know what just happened it's completely mind-blowing that something like this would happen out of the blue I mean nobody would expect this uh, so uh, Henry just Also hit the notifications 